Cialis, also known as Tadalafil, is an effective treatment for erectile dysfunction, providing you use it correctly. Today, we'll be answering the most frequent questions about this medication. My name is Jack and I produce weekly informational videos. If you like what you see here, why not subscribe and share this channel with your friends and family. So, what is Cialis? Cialis is an effective treatment for erectile dysfunction. It temporarily increases blood flow to the penis, helping you achieve and maintain erections for longer. Viagra, also known as Sildenafil, is another well-known erectile dysfunction medication that belongs to this group. Is there anyone who should not take Cialis? It's best to speak to your doctor before taking this medication if you have any of the following conditions. You've had a previous allergic reaction to Cialis or any other similar medications. You've experienced a recent heart attack or stroke. You suffer from low blood pressure or uncontrolled high blood pressure. You have an untreated heart arrhythmia or any other serious heart condition. You've ever lost vision in your eye due to a lack of blood flow. You have a history of liver problems or you take any of the following medications. Nitrates for chest pain and medication for pulmonary hypertension. Additionally, you shouldn't take Cialis if you plan to take recreational drugs, particularly poppers. This can cause a significant drop in your blood pressure, which can be life-threatening. What is the correct dose of Cialis? If you take Cialis or Tadalafil for erectile dysfunction, the usual dose is around 10 mg. Of course, depending on the effects you experience, your doctor may either increase or reduce your dose. The maximum prescribed dose for erectile dysfunction is 20 mg. How often can I take Cialis? Don't take Cialis or Tadalafil more than once a day. Taking your medication more often can cause an overdose and unwanted side effects such as dizziness, headaches, visual disturbance, nasal congestion, or even indigestion. If you've accidentally taken too much Cialis, please contact your doctor as soon as possible. How should I take Cialis? Once you obtain your medication, you'll need to know how and when to take it for the best results. Two effective methods are available for those taking Cialis for erectile dysfunction. The first option is to take it only when you need it. For this method to work well for you, you need to time your dose around the time you plan to have sex. Some say this can remove spontaneity. You should aim to take your prescribed dose at least 30 minutes before intercourse. This is because Cialis takes around 30 to 60 minutes to take effect. A big plus point is that this drug will continue to help you achieve strong erections for around 36 hours. The second option is daily dosing. Some individuals find it best to take Cialis daily. This is more common in those who engage in sexual intercourse multiple times a week. The advantage of this regime is that you don't have to time your doses, and you can engage in sexual intercourse at any time and still gain the full benefit of the medication. Remember, you'll only develop an erection while taking Cialis if you become sexually aroused. After intercourse, your erection should go away by itself. You can take Cialis with or without food, but please always make sure you take it with a large glass of water. Is there anything that I need to avoid? It's okay to drink alcohol alongside this medication, but please avoid grapefruit juices as they can interfere with how the medication works. How long does Cialis last? Cialis should continue providing support for your erections for up to 36 hours after ingestion. Many people will not experience any side effects. However, as with all medications, side effects can occur. Common side effects you should discuss with your doctor are headaches, nasal congestion, muscle aches, nausea, indigestion, and feeling flushed or red in the face. Rare but concerning side effects can occur. If you experience any of the following, seek immediate medical assessment. Priapism. If your erection lasts for more than 4 hours and won't go away. Sometimes priapism can be painful. If left untreated, it can cause long-lasting damage to your penis. Chest pain. This may occur during sex or even at rest. A sudden decrease or loss of vision in one or both eyes. A sudden change in your hearing or hearing loss.
Allergic reactions. These are concerning as they may be life-threatening. Fortunately, life-threatening allergic reactions are rare. Those with serious allergic reactions should call emergency services for assistance. Symptoms of severe allergic reaction include swelling of the face, lips, mouth, and throat, difficulty breathing, wheezing, or chest tightness, and sometimes an allergic skin rash. Of course, this list is not exhaustive, and for a full list of side effects, please refer to the drug information leaflet that comes with your medication. Why is my medication not working? Cialis or Tadalafil may not work for everybody, so please speak with your doctor if this is the case. Sometimes the medication doesn't work because the current dose you're taking is too small. In other cases, you may not have waited long enough or waited too long for the medication to work, or you haven't become sexually aroused. Alternative medications are available for erectile dysfunction. If Cialis or Tadalafil wasn't effective for you, speak to your doctor about these alternatives. What about natural and herbal remedies? I've seen them available online. You may have seen claims for natural or herbal alternatives. Many medications claim to be herbal or natural alternatives to Cialis or Viagra. However, these drugs are not rigorously tested and are therefore not licensed to treat erectile dysfunction. Additionally, the contents of these drugs may not be safe for human consumption. Therefore, please do not take anything that's not approved by a licensed doctor or pharmacist. I hope you found the answers you were looking for here. Have fun, and don't forget to practice safe sex. Of course, this video does not provide individual medical advice and is intended for informational purposes only. Do not consider this as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Please do not ignore professional medical advice in seeking treatment because of something you've heard here. If you believe you may have a medical emergency, immediately call your doctor or ambulance service. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more health tips. And remember, the greatest journeys begin with a single step.